Hi, and this is Roger in Finland, and today we're upgrading my laptop for video editing purposes. So I've got an HP Omen 15 with an i8750H processor, 16 gigs of RAM, a Max-Q 1070 graphics card, and then it has two hard drives. One is a 256GB NVMe M2 mount, and the other one is a normal physical hard drive. It spins at 7200RPM, it has 1TB, and that's the weak spot for me. The processor, the RAM and the graphics card are definitely very important, but I think I have them well covered. But my biggest problem is where the data, where my videos will be, the video files that I'm going to be editing from. The traditional hard drive is too slow. Let's take a look at this. I did like the Crystal Disk Mark to my hard drives, and I did it for the NVMe drive, the spinning hard drive, and then an external Samsung T5 that plugs through USB-C. And in this case it's a Thunderbolt connection, so that's a very good one. The NVMe drive, of course, is the fastest one by any possible measure, but let's see how are the others. For sequential read, the hard disk is only 20 times slower than the NVMe, and 4 times slower than the external T5. The sequential read has an impact when you're reading files sequentially, so for example if you're watching a movie for your track or something like that. But when it comes to video editing, the random access is way, way more important. So that's why we take a look at those 4K values. And for these random access tests, the hard drive is somewhere between 90 and 1400 times slower than the NVMe, and that's gigantic. The Samsung T5 is of course not as fast as the NVMe, but still is way faster than the normal hard drive which is in the machine. When it comes to the sequential reads and writes, it's about 4 times faster, but when we go to the random ones, it's somewhere between 40 and 100 times faster, and that's a huge difference. Because editing from the Samsung T5 has actually worked really well, what I'm gonna do is install a solid state drive instead of the normal spinning drive. I was lucky enough to find an offer of a 2 terabyte Samsung Evo 860, and that's the one that we're gonna try to install. This is not a tutorial on how to install the hard drive, but let's anyway get into it. See you in the Alright, after two screwdrivers, a lot of sweat, and only one BIOS access, we have the EVO installed and running. So now it's time to run the Crystal Dismar test on the new installed EVO 860. As I was expecting, the EVO and the D5 are quite close when it comes to performance, but still the EVO has a little bit of an edge over the D5. When it comes to the sequential read and write, they are comparable, but when I look at the random access tests, those are maybe three times or so faster than the T5. So now I'm really hopeful and almost certain that this isn't going to be my ultimate editing machine. But don't take my word for it. Let's go and take a look how does that playback on a 4K file look like in DaVinci Resolve. This is good. I'm satisfied. Alright guys, I would like to know how many of you are using gaming laptops for video editing and if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and we'll see you next time.